think they saw us? Definitely. Oh, I'm what sorry, the Clementine. What happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always <coughs> happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh yeah, it's gonna all go to hell. Okay, X on a door means zombies. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Yeah, hatchet, dude. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? See, how do you... Just makes sense, doesn't it? I think that's right. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This Sato shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Come on, Molly. Don't fuck me over. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> Back before you know it. Ah, oh, the sniffles. Again, when I'm doing an LP. What the hell? Why do I always have sniffles? 
Hopscotch. I'll explore the room first. See what's going on. Creepy. Kids are creepy. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. No power, no TV. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're fine. You're plenty useful. Huh, <laughs> yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real. Real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Oh, fuck Look, you, dude. We need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Uh, dude, you're gonna fuck us over. Little whiny ass teenager. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Okay, day since outbreak. That's kind of cool. See, it's kind of like what the military does when they walk in and they find bodies and survivors. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. All right, let's get... Oh, let's see, it's over here. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. Uh, the fuel's uh, in a shed one. across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. If we're gonna find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look.
Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Nope, I guess not. I thought I could go that direction. We'll go this way. <clears throat> so it's Thanksgiving. Things are going great. Awesome Thanksgiving dinner for my wife, the cannibal. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. Climb shell casings? They've already been fired. They're worthless. That was weird. Let's go look at the door because. This must be the way to the playground where Bree said the fuel was being stored. Again. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Wait, am I going in the wrong direction? What's going on here? Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Can't open it without the combination. Uh, yeah you can. It's called the crowbar. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Once again, I hate the forced perspective because I can't see what I'm doing. It's that way I gotta go. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? We all know it's gonna go poorly with Molly. Molly, you out here? Don't yell when there's a blocker right over there. Guess I'm not going that way. That must be down this way. Okay. To the right of it. Is there anything in here? Up oh, there we go. Now weird third perspective. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Damn, it's jammed tight. Hey, look, another air vent. Get too close. Leave him. He's mine. Where the hell have you been? Ah! 
Molly! What? I think you got it. One more! Ugh. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find a Someone sword? has baggage. Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Come on!